Okay, y'all, so in today's video, I have a thrift with me vlog style. So I'm gonna share a little bit of my day with you, and I am so excited today. I've already got up, had my coffee, got ready, did all the things that I do at home. I've got some potatoes going in my canner. It's an electric canner. It's okay. I can leave the house once I hit that final step. <laughs> Nobody panic. Um, but now I'm about to stop by the store and head to the courthouse. Because I have a nephew and his wife. They are adopting their baby today. And so we are headed to do that first. That is the most exciting thing happening for today. I'm so ecstatic for them. They deserve every bit of this and I couldn't be happier for them. So I'm about to stop by the store real quick and then head to the courthouse and I'll just kind of bring y'all along on my day, but we will be doing some thrifting. Got my little gift, headed to the second floor. Okay, y'all, that was probably one of the sweetest things I have ever attended. Y'all, I'll have some pictures for you here so you can see just a little piece of what I got to enjoy this morning. Okay, y'all, this thrift store has some of the cutest decor going on right now. I wanted to stop in here and look at all of their Christmas stuff and just see if they had any decor that I might want or if there was anything I could use for a Christmas gift. We have a Christmas party coming up this weekend and I need a white elephant gift. So I'm just going to look in here and see if they have anything I could use for that. But if not, I'm also going to look at all of their other decor because you just never know when you're out thrifting if you might find something you need for your regular everyday decor. I mean, look at these beautiful wooden primitive looking candles. These are so adorable, y'all. And then here in just a minute, I'm going to pick up some Santa taper candles. And I think that these are just precious. These would look so cute on a Christmas tablescape. So either last year or year before last, I can't remember which it was, but I was in this same room at this same thrift store. They call it their Christmas room and I found the most beautiful tree skirt. I'll insert a clip here and I love it. It is so vintage country looking. I could not believe that I found it. I actually found it when I was kind of digging through a box. So I want to encourage you when you see things like totes or boxes, if you were able to go through them, please do that. That's how I found that tree skirt. Otherwise, I would have never seen it because they just had not pulled it out of the box. Now, I love this Santa. I love anything Christmas that just looks primitive and country. And so this definitely got my attention. While I was shopping around in here, I just had to kind of chuckle a little bit because I did recognize quite a few of these little trinkets and little shelf sitters from last year. I guess they just leave this room up all year round. Maybe they just never packed them away. I don't know, but I did recognize several little pieces in here.
Okay, so the first thing I thought when I saw these wood stockings is, is there five of them? Because those would have been so cute to take the letters off, kind of sand down, paint all one color, kind of distress them a little bit, drill a hole through them and hang them up for all of my grandbabies. That would have been so cute, but there was only three. So take this tip from me. When you're out at the thrift store and you see Christmas things like that, little wooden stockings or just things like that that you can easily paint over and write names on, or you can let the kids paint and make them as a gift for a grandparent or something, grab those things up because those are such inexpensive ways to get your kids and your grandkids kids involved and it makes them feel so good to know they were able to be involved in the gift giving process of making something over. So right here is an example of why you need to look through the boxes because I spotted this beautiful set of tins in here. I thought that they were gorgeous. I don't know what it was about them, but I loved just the way they looked. They looked old. These would be perfect to put, to, excuse me, to put goodies in or a gift and then they could use the tin as decor afterwards. It was a two pack and y'all, they were brand new. Okay, so a lot of you may be wondering, where are the prices? How much is everything? Okay, so this thrift store is one of those, kind of what I like to call a mom and pop shop thrift store. They do not price everything. That is just a lot of work for them, they say, and they just don't do it. So when you get ready to check out, they just kind of bundle everything and give you a price. Now they do price like their sheets, their blankets, their clothes, certain things like that. They just have up a, a sheet there right by all of that stuff and it will say like, blankets this price or this this price but the individual items they are usually just not priced at this thrift store Okay, y'all know that I always tell you not only to look down and look in and through those boxes, but guess what? Always remember to look up because I looked up and I spotted something and I was like, oh my goodness, let me dig in the rest of these bowls and see if I can find some more. So don't forget, because I know there's a lot of us short girls out there. Be sure and look up, get some help if you need to, because there's always a treasure on that top shelf hiding from you. Snow, and I always miss you. So 
y'all got some good stuff in there i cannot wait to share it with y'all now get this i went in there looking for christmas stuff but i didn't find any christmas stuff that i just really had to have except for a few little things but the rest y'all i am in love with wait till you see now i have to put my seatbelt on because my um, car is talking to me but i have to go pick elizabeth up at three and it is right at two o'clock i better just talk to y'all before i try to back up that could be bad i'm headed to an antique store and that video will be i'll make a different video for that because this would be way too long if i did this thrift shopping the vlog the antique shopping and all that so i'm headed there now hopefully i'll have enough time to kind of get through that store before i have to pick her up and i'm excited there is nothing behind me my car is telling me to check my surroundings so anyway bottom line i'm heading to the antique store and then i'll pick up elizabeth y'all i just got home a little while ago and all of my potatoes are finished canning these are the ones that were in the canner when i left and they are fine they've all sealed so all is good in the world of canning okay y'all i've had a long and busy day so we're going to go ahead and end the video here and remember that during december we are doing the thrift haul the day after the thrift with me video so i hope that you guys have a wonderful evening we love y'all and i'll see you back here tomorrow with a brand new video which is the thrift haul let me know what do you think i purchased